What's up, everybody? <laughs> welcome, welcome to the Chrissy Girl. Chaos Podcast. Right we were just shitting off air. I was shitting off air. On, I was shitting on. <laughs> off air. Oh, and um, it's what it is, baby. And listen, <laughs> spe- listen. We got two of the. Fu- I would say. I would say two of the fattest podcasters. <laughs> yeah, two of the fattest, the baldest fat- podcasters. The fattest, baldest podcasters. But I would say. Last year, I would say they were new kids on the block. Then the middle of the year, they were most improved. Now I think that they're the fucking MVPs, baby. <laughs> they literally, this is fucking these two, the Are You Garbage. Thank fucking, you. Fucking nobody knows their names. They just the Are You Garbage guys. <laughs> AYG boys, baby. H. Foley and Kevin Ryan. <laughs> Welcome, you. dude. I just was in Philadelphia. Now yeah. I got to deal with this. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you something about Philadelphia. First tell of all, us. shout out to the Fillmore. Here's how I cra- saw those picks. Hachi Machi. Hachi Machi. The kid moves some tickies. Moves some tickies. The Chicago show, too. Chi- well, Yikes. Chicago Theater. Yeah, Chicago Theater, we'll, we'll get to. But but Philly in the Fillmore, what I love. So here's what happened. So he, the worst case scenario mm-hmm. came true for Chrissy Dick. You, I had the. Sh- Thank God the shows have been. On- Those shows at the Fillmore have been on sale since pre-pandemic. Oh, you ran into you ran into some World Series games, didn't you? Wor- game one of the World <laughs> Series yeah. starts at eight oh five. My show at the Fillmore starts at eight ten. So <laughs> I don't care game, who you are. The game went into extra. So you know, thank you to the people of Philadelphia. Two sold out shows. So thank you. you so go. so so the Fillmore. If you don't know, it's a thousand seats. So two thousand tickets oh. total sold. How many? Pe- how many people? How many? 2,000 tickets sold. Mm-hmm. In Philadelphia. Final, by the way. No refunds. No refunds. <laughs> game one. Game one. World Series. How many people out of the 2,000 Philadelphia fans, how many do you think actually showed up and put their butts in the seats and watched the show? I'd say like, you had about 18 people there. <laughs> dude, literally, the high, Fillmore, the highest drop count in history. Uh. 50%. Just didn't just come. Didn't show. Jesus. But I still got, like you said, got paid All for it. Final, and baby. I hope that they buy tickets again to see me, the material they didn't see. But I literally was like, if there's a, if you don't know sports, the worst city, the worst city to be performing at while their beloved team is playing in the championship round of that sport <laughs> is Philadelphia, Philadelphia. Pennsylvania. And I'd be- rather be performing in Kabul in 2007 <laughs> than... Than, than, than performing in the Fillmore in Philadelphia for these absolute great fucking, Americans. Yes. <laughs> animals. Great people. I love but them. I, I let them perf- watch. Yeah, I let them keep the show on in the bar. I let them because I was yeah, like, I let them keep the you game get it? on. You're a sports fan. I was like, dude, I don't. I wouldn't come here. Yeah, I wouldn't come to the show. Yeah, you know, no, unless yeah, you got if the, the Mets were in it or whatever. So you're a Mets fan, right? Yankees. 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 Well, Yankees the, came close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you wouldn't. I mean, yeah, you would if you had tickets to like the yeah. fucking Lion King or something. Yeah, and the Yankees were in the World Series. You would fucking tell let Mufasa me, to suck a dick. Let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. First of all, Mustafa is the name of my dick. <laughs> <laughs> James Earl Jones That's is funny, the name of my dick. Let me tell you something. I love Whitney Houston with a passion. Mm-hmm. I like it's my favorite singer. I know it's gay, ha, huh, whatever. I love Whitney Houston. If they brought Whitney Houston back from the dead, yeah, back from the dead, uh-huh. and she was going to do one concert and one concert only. It's but the one. Yankees were in the World Series. I would say, sorry, Whitney, yeah. go back in the grave. I got back see, in the tub, Whitney. I got to see Judge before he goes to the Giants. See you in heaven, baby. Yeah. No, um, that's uh, that's good. Oh, there, there you go. There's pounding. We got construction going on on the upstairs uh, apartment. That's where we're getting out of this fucking studio. It's not because we were asked to leave. It's because of the noise. <laughs> I think you might have been asked to leave. <laughs> I caught some. I caught some dirty looks coming in here. I know. The last time you guys did my podcast, it was at my house, and then you I were gave, the first episode in the new house. You were the first episode in the new house, and you might be the last episode in this studio. Oh my How god! How crazy is that? Oh. The Garbage Boys bookended me. <laughs> I got Statue of Liberty coming. by the Garbage Guy. <laughs> Dude, but you guys are fucking crushing. Oh, Holy stop. shit. You're killing it. You're How do you f- I know. No. Uh, I love it. Yeah, I love I it. I love it. Yeah, 90% door deal, Philly, you scumbags. <laughs> you lost. <laughs> the house always wins, man. Yeah, Let's baby. Go. I'm fucking Kyle Schwaber. <laughs> <laughs> we're going tonight, by the way. Yeah, we're going to the game. We're leaving here. Are you nuts? Yeah, oh, hell yeah. And, and dude, I mean, Philly to Staten Island, it took me an hour and 10 minutes to get home. Guys, you'll be there like that. Dude, we'll I did uh, I you're did. closer. I want to get there early. So this was perfect then, because this is Great. Uh, this is the closest you can be in the five boroughs to Zip Philly. Out. Right. Plus do we it. do a little, we do a little potty, and then we get the fuck out of here. And you're gonna go there early, right?
right tailgate yeah, and everything. Yeah, yeah. We got the shrooms. We got the, the boys car. coming too. Uh, who's, who, uh, for Stuff Island. We got Stuff Island. We got Gillis, and they're uh, all going. Uh, yeah, we're all going. We all and the Stuff Island boys. We bought the tickets. Uh, we bought Saturday tickets. Night. Yeah, me and him. Section What'd you buy? What'd you get from? What'd you Section, get? Huh? What'd you drop? Uh, on Stuff total. Pumping? What'd you? Three. We got three tickets. Total out the door seventy six hundred, and that's your Patreon money right there, folks. <laughs> your pay- there it is, yeah. dude. Seventy six hundred, not terrible. Well, actually. no, the, the, t- terrible. the tickets were the tickets were seventeen hundred, but the fucking StubHub fees are like six hundred. I know, I'm going to go in the dude. When I went to the when I went to the uh, hello. Good. It's so funny. We Thank thought we bought good tickets, and Gillis came in and fucking shit on us. Shit on us. He's closer? Yeah. He's wow. on the mound. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's the closer, dude. <laughs> fucking that God. guy comes in and starts throwing cake around. Oh, uh, yeah. God, I hope. Yeah, so so when I bought when I bought um, uh, Super Bowl tickets at NetLife Stadium, Jesus. me and my dad went. I bought the Super Bowl tickets, uh, Seahawks, Broncos, and whatever year that was, 2014, 2013. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My ticket, my one ticket came out to $1,776. 1776 baby. Shout out Freedom. <laughs> Why'd you go to that Super Bowl just out of curiosity? Just because it was in MetLife. Yeah, it, it was in MetLife Stadium. It was local. You know, it was like the me and my dad were like, the Giants will never make it mm-hmm. uh, again. And then, sure. uh, Might yeah. be wrong on that. I know. Well, I know. They, they took a fucking tough loss last yeah. time. I mean, the Eagles are undefeated. Cooking. Cooking. Dude. Great. That can't last, though. You don't want your team to go that too far. Seven and pr- Once you start going seven, eight, nine, and, I mean, you're a significant. It's not a fluke. Yeah, you're a no, significantly yeah, good yeah. team. No, I know. And the NFC East, I mean, they might get fucking three teams in the playoffs. How wild is that? It's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, dude, the A. Strong division. The, e- the Northeast is just better. The Northeast. I love it. That's just a of section what? of the world. Come on. I think the Northeast might be the best section of the world. Get all the seasons. Every season. The food's awesome. Good accents, good sports teams, culture, history. Yep. Good you know, sense like, of humor, too. Good, good sense, sense of humor. humor. The Atlantic Ocean. Atlantic the Atlantic Ocean. Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> dude, <laughs> dude, fuck. I go Chris, <laughs> put my toes in the water? Yeah. I think the Northeast United States and the Northeast part of Canada, dude. Fucking Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia's gorgeous. Halifax. Nova Scotia's Halifax. all right. Halifax. Dude. Halifax. <laughs> Prince Edward Isle, get the muscles up Prince there. Prince Edward Isle, get muscles. I mean, yeah. seriously, what part? what's a better part I'm of the world fan. than the Northeast? I love, I do love, I mean, we've really gotten over the past whatever, like, year. We've really traveled and got to see... A lot of cities, a lot of places. They went to like beautiful. Cincinnati. And, <laughs> yeah. They're like, we really got Shout out, out there. To Cleveland. Yo, did you know there's another part of the U.S. on the West? They use different money out there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. So, but no, it's like you get to see everything and like experience it all. And I do love it all for what it is. But like, I am a New York, Philadelphia, Dude. East Coast. I'm an East Coast kid. Dude, it's literally, I mean, I. I Baltimore j- and up, I would say. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> I, well, no, I, I, would, I would cut Baltimore if I could. No, 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 no. It's no, let me tell you something. Jersey Shore, shout out to Wildwood, no. New Jersey. <laughs> let me tell you something. That's the end of America. As far as I go, it's Cape May. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, there, uh, you know, and I like that all in the Northeast were animals, but Baltimore, I, I had a show in uh, Baltimore as well. Uh, on on last Thursday, and I stayed at a hotel called the Pendry in Fells Point. Pendry in Fells Point. If you're listening, Whoa. that is the nicest hotel I've Holy, ever stayed. That looks like a casino, dude. I thought I was in fucking South Beach. I was in Baltimore. I was in Baltimore Harbor. That's uh, that beautiful. harbor is nice, right? That was the nicest hotel. And Inner Harbor, Baltimore, and Fells Point is I w- I loved. Being in Baltimore, I got a gar- right. I got a garbage question. Here what go. do you think uh, the most garbage state is? Well, it's in the South. I would assume the South right. really we've learned really plays by their own fucking rules. They don't care. It's well, like, they've been doing that since the 1800s. Sure, <laughs> you know, we had a war about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're nuts, man. We've had some difference of opinions. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I would. I would it Florida's starts with an there. F and it ends with an A. What yeah, are we doing Florida. here? That's Come it, on. baby. It's gotta be Florida. 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 Well, the governor will be our president, so be careful. Tread lightly, Ronnie D. <laughs> we, speaking of presidents, we were driving. I He's ju- here. Well, dude, we somebody's ju- here. Well, we just did. Uh, I just did Rosanna Scotto show. Shout out Rosanna Scotto on Fox Five News, co-hosted the nine o'clock hour, which Keeping is I'm a fight by the way. May dude, I Chris say? News Host. Christy I know you were wearing a hot dog costume, so I wouldn't. You're I know. an esteemed journalist. Well, I know. That's the thing. You got sauerkraut on your head. <laughs> that's the thing. I'm like, you know, this is awesome. Like, we're talking to them. I was talking to them outside, like Ernest. I was like, this is awesome. Like, I wait, hold like- on. You put you put a hot dog costume, and it came up four dogs. You're the only human. <laughs> you're the only human <laughs> that wore it. Well, how about this? Who were those other bozos standing behind you? Uh, those were just members of the Fox Five News team. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. 
So I literally was earnestly, I, I literally was earnestly, you know, talking to, to Venetti and Pimp. I was like, you know, it's awesome. Like we're moving up like in, in, in this business. Like, you know, we're going to like, Cook it. I, we're not, a, we're not a, just, you know, we're not just doing segments on the news. Like now I'm actually going to co-host. And then they were like, no, it's awesome. And then like moments later, look some temp is like, we've laid out your you hot dog lost, costume. Dude. Yeah, like literally. <laughs> it looks like you escaped a mental institution <laughs> and you're here to see the president. <laughs> this is my triumphant, this is my triumphant hosting. I'm like earnestly being like, yeah, I, I've moved up and I'm in a hot dog costume. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you almost got attacked on air. Yeah, dude, this guy. So what? I started doing a bit. <laughs> so two things are going on. One, and then also, we're, I'm also being attacked by Joe DeRosa because he says I stole his fucking costume because he wore this on Taste Buds. I did So see, he's like, yeah. you hack, Ooh. you stole my fucking costume, you hack. I was like, Joe, it's a hot dog costume <laughs> that we found in one of the back closets here that fucking the previous owner probably did some sexy dress-ups with. I'm listening. And so I was like, and he's like genuinely mad. He's like, what the fuck? You stole my costume idea. I was like, Joe, shut up. Joey Rose. Um, so, and then on on air, Love there was him. this guy, Larry something, you know, uh, uh, who was like a, a chef. And he, I think he was mad that I was co-hosting with Rosanna Scotto and not him. So he he kept saying I was insulting him all um, all show. He just kept like, were on you ribbing them all? Were you yeah. ribbing them? Were you oh taking shots Wait, at were you co-hosted co that show? I, need, I, need I was the co-host. So you were in the hot dog suit the whole time? No, I co-hosted in the hot dog suit the whole time. <laughs> For a half an hour? <laughs> One an hour. hour. Is that garbage? <laughs> That's 48 minutes of commercials. What are you doing? <laughs> what? It's gar it, what, what was she wearing? Babes, all my show's been selling out. I want to say thank you very much to all the fans that come out. I have a brand new hour of stand-up material. If you've seen it, ask about it. I'm telling you, that's why I haven't been putting up many clips online. I want you to come to the live show. Most of the shows are sold out. You can still get tickets November 17th, 18th in Toronto. Uh, Buffalo on the 19th is close to sold out. And now in the South, Charlotte, Asheville, and Charleston in December. Um, those are very close to sold out or sold out. Go take a look. December 31st, New Year's Eve, Huntington, Long Island, the Paramount. New Year's Eve, I'm home in New York. Make your New Year's plans now. These shows are all also almost gone. Huntington, Long Island, New Year's Eve, Strong Island, the Paramount. And then in January, we're in New Orleans, Dallas, and Houston. Also, those shows are like 75% gone. So get the tickets because Chrissy sells out. I sell out more than the Democrats. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, she was dressed as Top She did Top Gun, but okay. she really just put on a T-shirt. Yeah. My favorite part was he wasn't allowed to talk politics, and as soon as they cut to commercial, it was five political campaign ads. Yeah. <laughs> well, they go, they go, they You're go, they go, don't, they go, don't say anything about politics. Then they go, then they, they have like a segment, like right when they were about to bring me on, they were like, and we have Chris Stefano live in studio. They're like, and I'm in the hot dog costume. And then they had this other lady that was dressed as like this bug, like she was doing all this bug stuff. And they're like, Chris, you know, they, they just said, don't say anything about politics. And I go, yeah. I go, hey, how you doing? Excited to co host the 10 o'clock. Uh, the nine o'clock hour was like, this is Bill de Blasio. This is Bill de Blasio's new job, former mayor of New York. And they were just like, what the fuck he told you? And I go, this is Bill. This is what Bill de Blasio's doing. And I just, it just love it's on the cameras on her. And then it's like, it cuts to you in a hot dog costume. You're like, in other news, the Bronx is on fire. Yeah, yeah. And you're like trying to be seen. You got like your papers and you got to Well, that's what I said. I was like, what happens if we're hair? doing this? Like, because I am the co-host. There's oh, no backup. Man. What happens What's if like some like breaking news, like Putin Biden slips a dirty bomb into Kiev? Yeah, and now. <laughs> I, now I'm earnestly yeah. reading the news with the costume on. Oh, there's, some, there's some sort of national emergency. Yeah, and they just and give they me a tie. I clip it on. You still deliver the Portland guy line? <laughs> what? I wrote it. I wrote it. Yo, dude. They and my favorite part is that I wore that costume over the weekend, and I had sex in that costume. Did you? Was it on? That's why it smelled, yeah. dude. God, that's yeah. weird. I thought it was funny. Why dude, do you take the costume off? That's wild. I thought it would be funny to get like a clip of it for myself. There it is. Yeah, Wait, you filmed yourself? Put that on yeah. OnlyFans. Yeah. Yeah. It was great. Yeah, it was you great. guys are a wacky <laughs> bunch. The whole lot of you is fucking wild. Dude, it dog literally, because I was like, this costume, I thought it was DeRose's fucking neck sweat. My but, bad. No. But it's Sorry. pimp sex. It's pimp's Ooh. goo. Uh, uh, what's so what's DeRose a gig like that pay? That? The news. Z no, oh. zero dollars. Zero that, bucks? I literally did this whole thing to plug my dates. New Year's Eve, Huntington, Long Island. <laughs> Paramount, baby. We're selling quick. Another thousand seater. So you know what? That, fuck it. Don't be like the people in the Fillmore. Um, so, um, yeah, no, it's uh, it was dope, man. But you guys, dude, the Phillies game, Philly World Series. Now, what, what's going to happen? Are you guys going to get drunk at the game? Do what do you, you think? Do you yeah. get, no, but, but I was going to say, do you get drunk, win or lose? It doesn't matter. Well, that was the problem. Friday night, we, we, we drank during the game, had a good time. 
then all, all went home. Came back to the same place we watched the game the night before and got fucked up. We were at a house. And then when we lost, man. Well, in 2009, when the, uh, 2008, I'm Eight. sorry, when the Phillies won, what did you, do you remember that? Was yeah, that, I was at. I was did at you guys Temple- even know each other yet? No, no. no. Not yet. I I was, was, that was the first year. That was when I, the year I started comedy. I, yeah. I, I had moved back to New Philly from New York. I was waiting tables at the seafood joint in Rittenhouse Square. I used to wait on Cole Hamels all the time. Wow. I'd finish the sandwich because he was so good looking. Yeah, <laughs> fucking Cole. Nice, tall, <laughs> lanky, hot pitcher. I would finish his chicken. He would, came in, he would come in every day that he pitched home and order the same yeah. thing. And you were definitely like, oh, my God, the year I started stand-up is the year the Phillies won the World Series. I must have made the right choice. And yeah. then 10 years later, you were like, when is it going to happen? <laughs> and then it finally did. Shout out to Patreon.com. No, we're Dude. back, baby. Fucking great. Uh, dude, I, we yeah. rioted when they won. Yeah. Like, it's just like, I don't know why everybody just runs down to Center City, like where City Hall is. Yeah. And you just part. It's just like crazy. We ran like 35 blocks down there. I believe it. And then, I mean, it was just like. I and the my, same will happen this time, if you wish. Sure. I mean, and then I did it for the Eagles I would the argue that even go crazier. The, what what do you think? Be, just because like I don't know. Did man, they went crazy? Did you guys go crazy for the Eagles? Were you? Yeah, there? I went to. I, ran, I was. I watched it in South Philly, and we ran to City Hall. I was older, and like I had my wife there, and I was like, it so start, it's a little different. It started getting crazy, right? Dude, I watched. It was like four grown men. I'm yeah. like, all right, this is pretty good. Like we're like we, you know, it's starting to get a little wacky. Yeah. Like there's some fires and stuff going on, and then four grown men walked by with a metal telephone pole on their shoulders. <laughs> like they were carrying a ladder. I'm like, all right, we gotta wrap. I this love up. that now. Like you guys will send it in and go nuts if. They win, but you all test your blood sugar first. Yeah, like, exactly. Let's just see. We don't. We have. We don't want to get. Whether I got a margarita or a tequila soda. Yeah, yeah. you're like you know. See I don't, what the insulin's like. Can't get dizzy. Who's this? A sailor proudly showing off his tattoos in the 1950s. Wow. Whoa. Look at that. Those are nice tats. And he kind of looks, looks like, like he has tits. tats. Yeah. He got nice, nice tits. Um, yeah, dude. I was thinking about getting. Um, you want to get tatted? I'm gonna. I want to get you sleeve. Have any? You yeah, are I got, tatted. I got. I, I'm oh, stamped right. though. I got one here, one on the back, and one on the arm. Should I get sleeve tattoos? Wait, why do you say that's stamped? what I. If what I go mean? tat, I want to go full sleeve. You gotta go sleeve. Right. I think. I want to get because I got one daughter. One of my daughters' name is Violet, so I'm thinking some purple violet flower sure. thing. And then the other one's Delilah. That's a flower. Mm-hmm. So I'll just get flowers on my arms. That's what um? Cool. What uh? What's the? Wait, what do you mean stamped though? What are you talking stamped about? Stamped like, like, like one here, one, one there. here. Like there's no flow. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? I'm thinking about getting one too. You want to get a tattoo? I want to get my dad's name right there on my inside of my arm. Just uh, what's his name? Terry. Terry Nabisco. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald McDonald. Ronald. <laughs> now I want to get his initials tattooed, just what? so I can see it. T F. T M F. T M F. Yeah, Terrence Michael Foley. Too much food. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here for this. Terrence Give me a Mike. Kit Kat, will you? <laughs> no, dude, can we get him? Uh, the, you, you want some snacks? Well, no, 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 no. 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 We're, no? We're, we're 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 trying to. They're keep all, all over me. You're not gonna eat. You're not gonna eat until the game. You gotta eat at the game. No, oh, we're gonna oh, eat. Why? I can't yeah. eat that shit right now. Well, okay. I lost like thirty pounds and then put twenty back on. Yeah, but no, but you're still, dude. You're still up ten. That's the way I see it. Yeah, you're, 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 oh, you told him no. that. They you're still, at me. you're still ten. No, you're, what he was doing, he was t- jockeying the number. He was really like only losing it at weigh in day, and then really going like, all right, I lost this month. I can blow it out the next month. And is then there I'll a thing on Patreon, month. a goal or something like that? Yeah, What's the goal? A, so what is it? We had a, a fat like, corp, but it a might debt be a that I was paying back for for something that I did last summer when I got us, I got us kicked out of an Airbnb last summer <laughs> in LA. What well, I remember that picture Jesus with the right. shirt, right? Yeah, that was great picture. Sure, so I had yeah. to lose a certain amount of weight. Um, I didn't really complete that, and then we started a personal bet. Bottom line is, I was th- four fifteen. I went down to three eighty, and Love then it. put twenty back on. Okay, so you're four hunch. Yeah, four on hunch. the nose, which is not which. Honestly, that's that sounds a, that's got a better ring to it than three eighty. It's you like think? good B four hundred or even. I Man, I like you are an enabler. This is crazy. crazy. A four spot. Yeah. Um, you know what? Give me that cupcake, dude. <laughs> dude, it, do, intermittent. I'm not. Should I talk about intermittent fasting again? Why not? I talk Why about not? intermittent not? fasting well, every you podcast because you look great, dude. Intermittent you really, fasting. You is, quit boozing too, right? You no, cut the sauce? not really. Not I. I don't sauce as much, but the, I'm telling you, dude. Download this app called Zero Z E R O mm-hmm. Intermittent Fasting app. It will fucking change your life. I'm telling you, man, I only eat in like these four to six hour windows now, but I eat, dude, I ate one of those cookies. I ate one yeah. of those, but I won't, I'll stop eating today at like 6 p.m. Yeah. And just drink waters till tomorrow at like noon. And you're fucking, I mean, yeah, I'm exercising, trying to drink a little sure. less, but dude, I'm still eating like a fucking scumbag. What are you drinking when you're drinking? 
when I drink alcohol. Yeah. Um, if I drink, if I decide to drink, then I'll just drink. I'll have Guinness. I'll have, you know, I'll, You're doing uh, it. tequila. But I, I'm not, drinker was never my, I'm not a big drinker. Sweets is my vice. Me I too. eat sweets and Twinkies and all that shit. So I was like, how, I was just thinking like, how can I like just fucking not, you know, just only eat lettuce and like, just like sustain like a life. And intermittent fasting is like the only answer. Yeah. For, if you do the research and the science, it's just like, Anybody who you know who's even ripped and na they naturally yeah. intermittent fast. Like I have to think about doing it because that's not the way. Or they just go like I'm done eating after yeah. dinner. My dinner's at six. Like Pimp, Pimp whatever, lost yeah. a bunch of weight. He, he not like he was saying I'm intermittent. Fast. He's not like a dick like me where I'm like oh you're intermittent <laughs> fast. Are you on IF? Yeah, you know you're, you're the you're download the, the Zoom app. I'm or the, whatever yeah, I'm that guy. You're I'm the like, fifth person to give me something different and say it'll change your life. Yeah, <laughs> the only thing that's changed my life have been Thriller and the Popeyes chicken yeah, yeah, sandwich. Yeah. I know. I, I like I like the one. Of the other pieces with Ian Fine Dance trying to make you gay. He's like, it'll change your life. You get the glory hole in Hell's yeah. Kitchen. Come on, Ian. Um, I did want to run this past you guys. If this is garbage or not, uh, these new shoes that are fourteen hundred dollars. Yes, that let you walk eight miles an hour. Wait, oh, they, there you go. They, they zoom you. Apparently, they're saying it's the future of walking. It's roller skates. That's roller skates. I was going to say that's genuinely roller skates. Yeah, I, I I don't need fucking this kid to tell me. Yeah, but like the future of what? Like what? The, I, I what don't are know. they called? The virgins? Those things. <laughs> <stink>. <laughs> hey, wheels. Yeah. <laughs> no, dude. That'll I, never. That shit never takes no. off. I mean, even like a scooter. You see a guy. You see a guy in a suit zipping down the street in a scooter, and then yeah. puts on his shoulder and walks in, and he's a lawyer. It's like, dude, I'm not trusting <laughs> you with the case. No, okay? no, 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 yeah. No, dude, I just mean, they're walk. cool, I guess, kind of, but no, no they're what are not. you doing? Here's the thing is like, if you- Those look like those Fisher Price roller skates. Remember those from yeah. back in the day? Yeah, you're riding on a Tonka truck. The wheelies, remember the wheelies? That was Oh, great. wheelies, yeah. the Skechers shoes. Imagine wheelies. Kanye, Kanye wheelies. went in to pitch these to Skechers. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, yo, I got something even better than the wheelies. It's these. Him getting kicked out of Skechers. How is funny is that? Oh, just God. getting dude, kicked out of Skechers. Talk about an all-time fucking fumble of a career. Yeah. You were the great, one of the greatest artists of all time, and you got kicked out. Out of Skechers. Yeah. <laughs> even That's I crazy. can walk into Skechers. I, I can get them even Skechers today. Got something. The garbage shoes. Yeah. Let's all go, at least get a sit down, a general, something. The only positive in this whole Kanye thing, the only positive thing I can even think of in this whole Kanye thing is eventually he's going to burn so many bridges he'll start to do our podcast, yeah. which will just be fun to <laughs> just be that, next to him. That's how we got Louie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that, that's how you know I suck. Even I haven't gotten Louie yet. <laughs> that's how bad Staten Island Islandist. They're like, no, dude. Yeah. Um, what's this? Woman claims her father killed 70 people as FBI launches serial killer. I mean, this is the thing with serial killers now is Netflix, you made them cool. I like know. Netflix and I these shows, them, though. they make I'm addicted. But now it's like it makes people want to do it. Like, sure. You ever think about that where it's like, you know, like, why, why is like, uh, you know, you can't say this word or that word, but yet we can, you know, make Jeffrey Dahmer look cool. You like, romanticize that. Why, yeah. aren't, why aren't the creators of that show? Why don't they ever get in trouble for like enabling? They shit? took a little bit of heat. Not well, a no, lot, no, but, but I'm saying, like, let, let's say Kanye West. Honestly, this is on. Let's say Kanye. People will say, can't you got to cancel Spotify? And he's enabling Jewish hate. And Kanye's enabling Jewish hate with his words and all that. And it's like, okay, fine. But they're not enabling ser of so, uh, serial killer uh, love. They're not, <laughs> you know, dictator's playbook on Netflix is not enabling somebody to think they can be a fucking sure, dictator. Sure. It's also so, the same hypocrisy. It's, you know, it's hypocrisy. Same thing that goes into, you know, the gun gun control situation yeah but then there's 90 million movies and video that's games. what i'm saying and, you know yeah I mean? sylvester stallone doesn't have we to apologize it. for rambo it's true. like i don't understand no like he doesn't <laughs> <laughs> he should receive more awards yeah, yeah yeah but now this case is weird because this woman is saying that her and her siblings had to carry the bodies they helped they actively oh helped so they're accomplices dad. like look look at this quote here they had a use a, a sled during the winter to bring bodies we, out yeah they, the, the daughter said they had to How use a wheelbarrow I mean, he that's crazy. Family. In the warmer months and a toboggan during the winter. Jesus, I used to pitch about raking leaves. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> no, like, it's your job to move the skulls. What the fuck? Her dad's the Michael Jordan. He got away. He's, he's the best Is that ever alive? did it. No, he's dead. He he won. Did he die in prison? He never even got no, arrested. No, Did they find got... any? Is there any con? Is there any physical evidence that any of these bodies existed? I think she's leading them. She's to leading that. them there. Yeah. Okay. What's a toboggan? Is that a sled? Yeah. That's such a New York kid just thing. Doesn't slack. know what a toboggan is. What's a fucking toboggan, dude? <laughs> I Yo, think I think it curls up. It's one of those. Oh, okay. Songs. It's like elf shoes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, there yeah. it is. Here's a yeah. toboggan. 
Which I Nobody can imagine. Nobody really had those. Being a little kid on Staten Island with a nice snow, if you showed up with that fucking thing. Oh, my God. <laughs> and you're like, yo, Vinny, look at this kid's sled. It's fucking curved. <laughs> Walk away with a wedgie for sure. <laughs> this kid's got, it's like a half pipe. <laughs> um, oh, 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 how about, did you see this? This Capital Rioter, he's avoid prison due to autism. Because he said he was autistic. <laughs> yeah. No, he's, he got out of it. Yeah, Dude, that's great. When in doubt, man, just say you're autistic. I mean, honestly, <laughs> that's what I want the kids who listen to this podcast podcast to do when you're in trouble and you didn't do it just say i'm autistic well this is you know can't from prove a, it from a standpoint of like you know they where you had to prove that you were crazy that you couldn't <laughs> stand trial or whatever and then you go in and then you you know you go to rehab and then they go okay you're good and you get out in like two years yeah or three years for like killing somebody this is going to be the same thing like this gives like what i think they call like legal precedent that they can be like well if he's autistic they, they it's already been proven here that you can't be held responsible for your actions yeah it becomes confusing to me because we don't negotiate with terrorists but we negotiate with mental illness yeah it's I true i don't get it well it's what it is man i mean i feel like this kid if he's got autism wait pimp how do you not get the difference between those two because <laughs> isn't that walking the same line I mean, I don't think the autistic kid had fucking nine people held up in fucking an Olympic camp or anything well, like we'll that. Well, we'll see what he watches. You never know. <laughs> Keep Dude, these autistic him. kids, <laughs> the autistic kids are, they're smarter than us, a lot of these kids. A lot a lot of the autistic Hell kids, yeah. like, you actually want, auti I think you were the one that said it. We Some people think autism is just what future people are like. Like, it's just a, a person born ahead of his or her time. Oh, that makes it's sense. Where, like, they're locked in sometimes, like, mentally, in a good way of, like, do we Genetic have evolution? Dude, why doesn't Kanye use this excuse for Adidas? Be there like, I have go. autism, dude. There you uh, go. You should. Honestly. Yeah. We, Say it. Dude, we had a kid before, my, my buddy's, growing up, my buddy's younger brother, before anybody really knew what, like, autism was. Right. You know what I mean? Right. And he was just really good at knowing all information about presidents and vice presidents. And we would get high and just sit there and grill him. Yeah. And he was, like, eight years old. And we would go, like... Clinton minus Abraham Lincoln, and he would like do the math of who they are, and then just and we would just sit there and die. Let, it was greatest thing oh, that's ever. All right. And then I turned like twenty eight. I'm like, oh, this kid was autistic yeah, the whole time. Yeah, you saw him recently. He's wearing a helmet. Yeah, he was. Yeah. He was Nikki Presidents for a while. That's what <laughs> was, was Rain Man autistic? Is that yes, what, he was. Yeah, I believe so. See, there's an example. They didn't know what that was back then. But they yeah, made the money off autistic him. Autistic in the movie. Yeah. Well, nowadays, Dustin Hoffman couldn't even play that character because they true. would say he's enabled. Like, it has to be An the person, person who actually well, has autism. Brian Cranston and Kevin Hart, right? They got mad that he was yeah, playing the kid, the guy in the wheelchair or something yeah. like yeah, that. Yeah, dude. It's like, show me a guy in a wheelchair that can move tickets like Cranston. <laughs> dude. No offense. Dude, nobody. I remember once I saw there was this movie, Gods of Exodus or Exodus and King. So it was about Moses, <laughs> where, where Christian Bale... <laughs> Christian Bale was playing oh, Moses, yeah. uh -huh. and they were like, he sh it should be a person of color. It should be someone from the Middle East. And then the guys who financed the movie who were Middle Eastern themselves were like, we personally picked him because he yeah. moves tickets. Moves, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> shut up, of stupid. Course. You didn't put a fucking trillion dollars down like we did, yeah. and it's not selling because Christian Bale sticks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big fan of Bale. No, I love Bale, dude. Dude, Bale, love you know him. who I fucking love? Trade coffee. If you love drinking coffee, then trade coffee's for you. You know me. I love coffee. I mean, if you don't like coffee and you drink tea, just get away from me. I only want to talk to people who drink coffee. I hate people that are like, I only like tea. Get the caffeine in you. It gives you headaches, and I like it. Whether you already know what you like or are new to specialty coffee and need some help, Trade makes it easy and convenient to discover new coffees. It's a coffee subscription service. Everything right now is subscription service. Your coffee should be too. I'm telling you, I like it. I use it. Um, I got all these two cool, cool types of coffee. I got some nice coffee from Colombia, and it tastes nice, man. It tastes like a nice Colombian butt. So upgrade your coffee today with Trade Coffee and let them take the guesswork out of finding your perfect cup. Right now, Trade is offering our listeners a total of $30 off your subscription plus free shipping at drinktrade.com slash chaos. That's drinktrade.com slash chaos. $30 off your subscription. Drinktrade.com slash chaos. The Roosevelt's, I love these shirts. I wore them on Rogan. I wear them on a lot of podcasts. All right, Roosevelt's, they make dress shirts. They make hoodies. They make hats. They make anything you want. They make it, and it's comfy, wumpy, and I love it. All you got to do is go to rsvlts.com slash Chrissy Chaos. Use the code Chrissy Chaos and you get at checkout, you will get 20% off your first order. That's rsvlts.com slash Chrissy Chaos. Code Chrissy Chaos, 20% off your first order. The uh, Roosevelt's, great merch, 
great shirts. Um, I love all the patterns. They got Star Wars patterns. They got all different types. Oh, they got the oh that USA sweatshirt is dope. Go back up to that. Oh, look at this sweatshirt. The All American hoodie USA sweatshirt from Roosevelt is money in the bank. That is my favorite piece of merchandise. We're ordering that right now, and I'm going to use the promo code RSVLTS dot com slash Chrissy Chaos. Use the promo code Chrissy Chaos twenty percent off your first order, baby. Who? Dude, Daniel Day Lewis. You ever seen the movie In the Name of the Father? What? Is what that the assholes? What movie? about Belfast? Nah, about um, um, Ireland? That, uh, it was about a. Was um, he a boxer? A bombing? No, no there's a the movie. Co- that's that, the boxer. That literally yeah, is yeah. the box. Do you have well. autism? <laughs> 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 Quick, give me a president, <laughs> dude. <laughs> My left foot. Test or, me. Or, uh, or In the Name of the Father is about a guy who was kind of in the wrong place at the wrong time when a bombing occurred uh, with the IRA. I've yeah, read, I, great. I have seen. I have, great I've, movie. I, I watched I it when it. I was shitting my brains out. Great fucking movie. How does his dad get in prison? I can't remember. Because literally at that time, the IRA in Ireland were just like, or, or, or not the IRA, the uh, br- British government in England was just like, any. we need to pin the murders on somebody because mm-hmm. they killed you know British citizens. Right. So they were like... Um, Oh, you, uh, the father came to visit him in prison and be like, "My son didn't do it." They're like, "Oh yeah, he didn't." Well, now you're in here with yeah, him, that's stupid. Right. Okay. It was like genuinely that. I Damn. forgot. Um, that was Thatcher, wasn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tough Fucking broad. Thatchy. Yeah, good. Yeah, the, I, Ian Findance should play her in the movie. Uh, <laughs> they have the same hair. Um, <laughs> man yeah, calls his cousin during a live police chase and tells him what to do. That's this is all right. Hilarious. I've seen Whoa. this. Whoa, this is real. No, I some tips while he's driving. He's watching on the news. Crenshaw Boulevard. Best advice you can get. <laughs> yeah, pull over. Can we make that merch? That exact quote. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Damn, that's <laughs> fucking chest, dude. That's great dude yeah i mean you know i think if you're in a i think actually if you've committed a crime and you're trying to evade and you're trying to get away i think that that the best thing to do is just to keep driving because i think eventually the police back off now not with the news and now no. now they can't the they best just thing to do is to pull over and call your fucking lawyer make that, a fucking move make yeah that's you do you end up killing somebody on one of those things i've done. seen this dude was this philly no i've seen this Man. guy He's got the queen in his hand, so all the bees just follow him. And he's walking down the street, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Talking about clearing the sidewalk. Oh, my God. That guy's dude, awesome. That's what my dick looked like in the summer of 2009. <laughs> Imagine showing up to a house party like that. Yeah. Oh, I would freak dude. out. <laughs> dude, bees, insects are... You know, if you put all the insects on a scale and all the humans on a scale, the insects weigh more. Sure. Oh, yeah, what yeah, a yeah. wild co- stat. That always, that and what always blew my mind was rats are outnumber humans like eight to one in Manhattan. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Number but, wise, but, eight to one. But, I mean, we do see them, but I guess if you opened up the floors, they're everywhere. Oh, on the everywhere, floors, right? Yeah, yeah. Dude, they say the subway is like you. There's like parts that close parts of the subway or whatever that are just like fucking. I can't chaos. think of the roaches. Like even oh. even this building, nice building. If you open these walls up, there'd be a billion roaches everywhere. Roach city. Dude. <laughs> Did you ever hear the legend of the Rat King? No. These ra- the rats get in a confined space and they start kind of freaking out, so they all just like. Intertwine, yeah, and then their tails all intertwine, and then they after the the, the the legend is they start moving like one, but there's like ten of them. They like they figure out how to move as one, so it's like ten rats coming at you rather than one. Like conjoined twins, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they go. I mean, I think it's like an urban legend or something, but I don't know. There's a p- picture of one right there, mummified. Up top. My favorite was a few years ago, all these uh, Brooklyn hipsters used to get together with their dogs and hunt rats together at night. That was their community. That's stupid. What? (laughs) Yeah. Dude, I got a dog and there's no way he would stand up against a fucking couple (laughs) New York City rats. I wouldn't fuck with a rat. Dude, as I'm getting older, I'm like, I'm very much like... I like. I don't want to kill bugs. I don't want to like kill. Anything. I don't mind. Never. You, you'll kill bugs. The only two things I kill <laughs> are mosquitoes and cockroaches. They're the only That's two it. things. Okay. I'll what die. about those locust? But what are those bugs called? Stink, the the, the lantern flies. The lantern flies. flies. What are they, they really doing? That's your civic duty. What are they you really have to doing? Do it. They said you have to kill them. Yeah, they're destroying grapes. My Bur- bridges. Grapes. Grapes. My group, <laughs> I do like a nice seedless grape. Shout from out to, time to time. Dude, my group, ch- my group chat, the guys in my group chat, genuinely, you know, like you know, Queens, Brooklyn guys, genuinely think like the government is telling for us to kill them because they were sent from China, and the U.S. government may think they have some type of like recording chip devices, in them. yeah, yeah chipping yeah, them yeah, in yeah, the yeah. wings. That's not that not recording devices. That's crazy. But in the okay. past, we have sent, uh, what are they called? What's the word? In- infectious breeds or whatever it's called. Yeah, whatever it's called. We've we've done that too. 
to yeah. destroy like certain things in Cuba. Yeah, to like serve that. like to to destroy plants and yeah, sure. yeah, shake yeah. it up a little bit. Yeah, just fine. That's what it is. I um to kill like crops and stuff like that. I don't mind killing any bug, any mouse. If there's a mouse in my apartment, you're getting got, and it's oh, I'm I fine know. with that. Do we have those sticky pads? Oh. Oh, those those I won't do. Those my wife in, has convinced me not you to do, do. You those. don't have mice in the house. Now. No, no, no. I'm saying in an apartment we had. Well, no, I actually did have a fucking mouse in the really? house. Field mice. Well, yeah, 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 because you know what you know what happened is I was doing some work in the yard. Yeah. So they dug up you some rustle, papers and shit, yeah, and then yeah, it yeah. fucking ruffled some. Yeah. And then next thing you know, have a mouse in there. But we we uh, that's cute little. Field we got them with the um like the one that goes in a box. And then, you know, like, and then you, you can let them go. Set them free. Yeah, we set them free in the That's neighbor's nice. yard. Fuck them. Yeah, That's no. Nice. You don't want don't, the kids seeing that. No, no, my, no, because I don't, God knows what the hell my stepson would do with it. I don't even want to know what he's doing up there. Um, Dude, I, we had one, uh, we had a mouse we, uh, a couple weeks ago and I set the traps and I, we have a, we, we have like a puppy and I was like, all right. So I set them in the kitchen. I closed the door to the kitchen and then I fucking, I forgot, dude. And I opened up the kitchen door and he just went in and just set them all. He licked the peanut butter off of them and, but didn't get caught, but set them all off. Oh, wow. I just heard like ting, ting, ting. And I'm like, shit, we got one. I look and he's got fucking peanut butter. Dude, my, my one year, <laughs> he was fine. my one year old baby put her finger in the trap twice and it got clamped down on it twice. Jesus. But their fingers are probably so like fucking yeah, rubbery like, at that page, well, right? Well, the thing is this. They're not like, you know what I mean? Well, no, here's the thing. Here's that generally the thing. That scares you, though. No, of but course. You freak out? But, no, but when you don't have fear, like my baby don't doesn't know, fucking yeah. know. If we had the same stomach virus, dude. I was shitting myself, being like, I'm going to shit myself to Canceling death. Shows. Blood out. Yeah, canceling shows. I was like, <laughs> I retire. I'm And when my baby was just like walking around, just, sh you know, shit leaking out her diaper, but having fun watching Coco Melon, no issues. Sure. The thing on her finger, immediately... You know, cried for a second and then was like, oh, I'm you know, over get it, it yeah. off. Because she doesn't give a There's shit. There's no understanding. Yeah. There's no understanding of fear. There's also no understanding of time as a baby. If I left for a year or a day, it's the same time to her. Yeah, she just yeah, has yeah. no understanding. As you come back. I, yeah. shot, I stuck my finger in an electrical socket when I was a kid. Do you remember it? Yeah. How old were you? Uh, I don't know. Probably three or four. Wow. I took a paper clip and undid it and pfft. Uh, and then I saw it on TV. Did you fly back? Like what? <laughs> no, I just he did that thing at home. All oh. <laughs> it just shocked me for a minute. Didn't really even hurt that. But bad. you re you vividly remember it. Yeah, hundred percent. Dude, I remember being My in kindergarten and taking out. little pins and putting them through the tips of the skin of your fingers. Oh, would you was, do that? That was mm -hmm. I mean, you could kill two three hours doing dude, that. But why don't we? Why did we stop doing that? <laughs> I would do it right now. Why not continue Great. to do that? Like, <laughs> dude, I, I thought instead I was, of I thought overeating, I, was a magician. I felt like fucking David Copperfield. I was like, <laughs> yeah, ah, yeah. That, putting glue on your hands and then peeling it off. Oh, like peeling skin. it off was yeah. classic. Ooh. So there, when I was a physical therapist, they have this thing that's called a paraffin hand. Of course. So you know about? I used to use it. So yeah. you put your hand in it, and it's fucking nice and warm. Dude, right. it feels like warm cum. Mm -hmm. What is put it? it? And then, is it a liquid? So, like, let's say you had a, you had a, you, I don't know, broke your wrist. I used to use it in football. If you sprained a finger, you right? Put or it sprained in there. a finger. So you put it in there, and then you leave it in for let's say a minute. It's nice and warm, and then you take it out, and it makes a coating around your hand, and it like it keeps it warm, uh -huh. and it like delivers like blood flow to the whatever. But dude, I used to, I remember You're supposed to do. You go back and forth. Yeah. To make it tighter, right? Yeah, yeah, you keep doing it. But I remember, like, I would use that. Like, I remember, like, first-year physical therapist, I was using it. Like, so, like, I would use it. I remember there was one day I was putting my hands in and out of it. I both, And then I forgot that I had patients in the afternoon. And my supervisor was coming to evaluate me. So I literally was in there with two hands just full of paraffin wax. And they were like, oh, Mr. Stefano, your 3 o'clock is here. And I was like, oh, I didn't realize. I was like, who are you? And she was like, I'm. Hold on, Michael. Yeah, she was like, I'm, I'm Professor Johnson. I'm your evaluator. I was like, oh, yeah, I was, I was uh, practicing. Practicing, uh, you know, different hand modalities for the patients. And she was like, oh, that's okay. You got scotch tape on your fingernails. Look at this, huh? Pretty hey. cool, huh? Dude, some of my fondest memories. I was like 16, I think. I was in physical therapy because I broke my arm. And the, the girl was a fucking smoke show. They always are. A smoke show. And I would sit and I had to put my hand in this machine that would blow like warm wood chips or something. I would have to like grab and like do this. It was, and dude, she would just like sit over me and like do something. I was just like, I was like 16. Yeah. Just, just staring at her cans being like, this is the best day of my <laughs> life. I'm never going to forget this. How'd Where's that paraffin at? Yeah. Snowboarding. <laughs> oh, you were a snowboarder? Yeah. I fucked it up. I broke it. Professional. I had an ex <laughs> no, 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 no. I had an external, like the, you ever see like the halo? You yeah. Get? I had that around my arm. Oh, you really like destroyed oh, wow. your arm. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, it was yeah. your, your arm was like that. Yeah, he the fell radius. in the lodge getting a hamburger. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Tell him the those, truth. Those boots are tough to walk in. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, I broke the radius and it popped. It didn't break the skin, but it was like up. Were the you doing a trick? What were you up to? Yeah, I was going off a jump that I didn't like look at beforehand. 
Dude, I tried I skiing like, once. I couldn't even get on the ski lift. Took nah, them off right away. We one I couldn't get on the lift. No bueno. No, yeah. No, it's I don't want to do that. Too. People have to die or get wildly injured weekly, right? Oh yeah. yeah. I mean, like, I wasn't. I probably wasn't even the worst injury that day. It was like, it was, it was bad. Just the lift is dangerous. Well, there's no say, fucking all, bar. There's no bar, right? So if you no, fell off is, that you lift, lower it. You, you're supposed to lower. But if you're cool like me, you keep it up. But you'll, dangerous. you could die if you fell off that lift. You'd die. It, yeah, it depends for sure. Definitely some lifts for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely you break an up. ankle or something. Yeah, that's what yeah, I'm scared of. Then they're going to come get your fat ass on the mountain. That's oh. what I was always scared of. They yeah. got to come and get me. Now, have you done extreme sports, Foley? Any? Extreme sports? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. Uh, he was I have the a Nathan's squirrel hot dog eating contest. contest. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> I had a flaming Hot Cheetos once. <laughs> That was pretty rough. Dude, Can extreme you do shit. Extreme sports. <laughs> Dude, speaking of extreme sports, I see him trying to get out of an aisle, a middle seat on a Southwest flight. Yeah, no shit. Not anymore, dude. You guys fucking definitely graduated to like United or something by now. We're first class Delta, I gotta say. Wow. We will, uh, only fly first Cross anymore. country for business, or for business. For business. For business. Folks. So you'll go first class cross country business Delta. Yeah. Got you'll go to. New York to LA in the pod. Got to. Yeah, the one wow. yeah, the lay flats. That's what it well, is, we, baby. We, we gotta be fresh when we get there, Chris. That's what you gotta do, baby. We we land and fresh. do the show. What do you want? I can't I be get... stuck back there. It's, it's also too like we do. We fly to one night or one night or one night or so. It's like you're fucking. You leave the house. It's not like we're in a, you know, a weekend. We're not, we're somewhere for three days where we're like chilling and one nighters are the best. By the we're way, in and that's I the love best. It. It's great I, I, because here's the thing. I know that might be inside comedy, but the thing is, is when you're performing at the same club or theater night after night after night in the same city, you start to feel like a phony. You're yeah, like, wait, yeah. I'm making the same jokes about the, the cards. I'm trying to make it like time. it just came yeah. out of my, it's not, I hate it. I love I in and out. I was on I-76 today. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I love in and out. I love a fucking bang, bang, get it. I mean, yes, it's a little bit more taxing on you, but I love, I love getting in and out. I flew, I was just, when I was in Ireland, I flew first class home Who? from Ireland from here's the thing from Ireland to JFK, so nice direct flight, but it was Aer Lingus, Ooh. so it's like no, it's great. The food is great, but it, their first class is like you know it's this like fucking Delta's blue. like yeah middle you know economy. I just <laughs> did Lufthansa back when I went. I was there. I was there like a month ago. Great, right? Germany, dude. The business class. It's like. Fuck it. I mean, it like cost wild amount of money. Yeah. Uh, but it's a good time. I heard you the, land and you're like, I can go to work right now. Well, at Emirates, I heard if you fly first class on Emirates, crazy. you have like a full, like a studio apartment. Like you don't want the flight. It's like flying private. Yeah. Like you have like a bathroom and stuff like that. Like yeah. you're like, you know, you're on. I've never bathroom. been on a private jet. Would you guys ever do it? Or have you been on one? Never. What? Dude, I, I, don't, what? I, if I you can't got, afford first class. No, no, no. But I'm saying if somebody, gave me the oppor- pools. <laughs> but if somebody gave you the opportunity, if somebody said, hey, listen. You can fly. I, I'm giving you the chance right now. If I said you can fly from, let's say, New York to LA on first class Delta or private, would you do? Would, what would you do? Uh, I'm scared of private. I'm I'm a, a, I, would be, I would be a little scared of uh, it as well. Why? You're getting a meal on both. What about what those, about dude, my those, movies? Can I watch Morbius and stuff like that? No, yes, a, but but you're, you're on an what iPad. About the snacks? Is the lady going to come around with the snacks? Yeah, yeah, the lady comes around with the snacks. Gummy bears. Yes, they're good. Gummy have you yes. ever flown private? You have to serve no. yourself on private. No, I was asked to. Pro- I was asked. He flies private all the time with. I've Nate. flown with Nate. Oh, with private. Nate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Is it nice? Dude, it's sick. But yeah, they're so better. Wobbly, you feel right? the turbulence. There, there's more turbulence. No, I mean, oh, he got, wait a he minute. got an eight seater. It was, it was pretty good. Venetia just shook her. St- You've never been on a private. Have no. you been on a private? No, no, oh. no. I've never been Venetia's on a private. Venetia's like, no, you don't you even don't feel, feel it. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Took a half a zen. You, you guys need to do a tour bus, so RV. Dude, we just you did tour bus with Bert. <laughs> That's, That's nice. a fucking good different time. experience, right? Yeah. yeah. Although it I takes... woke up in the middle of the night and it because fe- you can't see anything, it feels like no one's driving the bus and we're going through a field. Really? You know, like you feel like you're out of control. It is. It does really make the road because there's no downtime. There's no like your downtime is the travel time at the same time. You know what I mean? So it's like we did the show, we hung out. We, like, you know, smoked cigars or whatever, like, out by the bus. And then it was, like, all right, bus calls that, like, you know, wheels up at 2. Hop on the bus. Bullshit a little more. You just go to bed. You wake up. You're at the venue. So you, we crushed, like, eight hours. You sleep hours. all day like you slept to the early afternoon and stuff. We slept till, like, we, we pulled into we town at, at, like, We 10. left at, like, 3 o'clock from Vegas, and we slept until probably 11. I wake up, at like, you're at the venue. And then what do you do? Then you just hang out at the venue you're all day? at the venue. The, the venue had, like, like ridiculous like rooms. dressing rooms. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. nuts. Right. So you're like posted up. We went and got lunch. We fucking whatever. You walk whatever. around the city. Where do you take showers? In the dressing rooms. In the room. dressing rooms. In the dressing like, rooms. We're talking. I mean, it was a fucking amphitheater yeah. in the middle of wine. Where do you country. take shits? You can't shit on the bus, though. No, right? no, shit, no shits on the bus. So what if you have to shit in the middle of the night? 
Got to be I a mean, gentleman. I'm, yeah, I don't know. You would have to pay a fine on Nate's bus. I would have to pay the driver four hundred dollars. He said. Yeah. Because it's a pain in the ass to clean the things. Yeah. It never but, happened though, honestly. Yeah. You don't that, feel like you just get your shit out. Once you get in the rhythm of the tour, you understand. You could pee all day. Yeah. You could pee oh, all yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Awesome. I got a small bladder. You get a tour bus. Bert, a Bert's was awesome, and Bert was awesome the whole time. Yeah, well, like, yeah, I think in order to, like... It's a lot of money, For though. the money to yeah. make it work, you have to do, like... Yeah, you have to do Bert. You have to be Bert. Yeah, yeah. you have to do 7,000 shows a, a month. It's yeah. crazy. Your wife's screaming at you because it's in the front. Well, dude, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I know. Get that thing off the wall. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> so, what are you doing, Chris? The baby keeps trying to get it to the bottom. <laughs> uh, so, but, so, like, he, pulls, he, he pulled up, and, like, they had, like, a fucking... They have, like, a gym under it. So they had, like, a rowing machine. They pull it out. That's what I was going to ask. Where do you guys exercise? Good, so they have a... I mean, we did. They kept trying to... They're like... We're, I like, took a nap. Yeah. <laughs> they were like, let's go hit the gym. I was like, dude... That starts when we get like but the wait first day of sober where the October. rowing machine. Where do you, where do you row though? Just they in just the park lot. Just put it. In, you're in the back. Like you're like behind the. You know, the bus isn't like parked out front. It's like in and the back. And there's weights and stuff under there. They got everything. They had a bunch of shit. Yeah, yeah. they were doing. It's a good time. Yeti chairs, the whole nine yards. There it is, baby. It's cool. It's, nice. it's just like a little moving apartment. That's like I was like, oh, it's like crazy. Oh, the wait, bed the, was super comfortable. The, I'm sorry. The turbulence thing would be an issue because I get scared. That's yeah. the thing. I, I get real scared. I spoke about this with Tim Dillon, and Tim was like, you know, he's like, look, man, I don't want to be on a private jet because I, the fucking turbulence. I just don't want to do it. If you hit, because anytime you hear so about a plane ha, going what down. What was your answer? Have you? Is it bad? I mean, it can be bad, but I don't know. You kind of, it's just like a regular I mean, plane. you've experienced both. Yeah. So what's, what's worse? I prefer private. I just prefer because I'm coming in with cameras and shit. I don't have to get searched. I get right off the tour. No, bus just for, pure turbulence factor. Is it worse on the a bigger private jet? The bigger one's smoother. Yeah, of it's course. like riding on a small boat. Yeah, uh, see, fuck that, man. Factor ready to eat meal delivery plan. This is the one. This gets you nice and ripped. You know me, baby. I've been losing a little bit of weight because of intermittent fasting and intermittent. Mm -mm, I've been intermittent factoring. Okay, because I like factor. In, uh, factor. Um, it's it's one of those meal services. I know that there's a lot of them out there, but this is the best one. The best food comes to your door. Healthy, high protein. I like it. It's cheaper than dining out. So you put the money towards saving for holiday fun, babe. Okay. When things get a little hectic during the holidays, Factor is flexible like Jasmine and you can mix and match. Okay. They got protein plus. They got keto. That's the one I use. You stay on track. This is definitely going to come in handy during the holidays, which, hey, let, it happens. Cheat meals. It happens. You cheat on your meals. You cheat on your spouse. It happens. Factor gets you back on track. Head to go.factor75.com slash chaos60. Let me say that again. The website is Go, G-O, dot, factor, F-A-C-T-O-R, 75, dot com, slash, chaos, 60, and use the code chaos, 60. You're going to get 60% off your first box. That's code chaos, 60, at go, dot, factor, 75, dot com, slash, slash, chaos, 60, to get 60% off your first box. I would do it just for, like, I guess, one, the experience would be cool to be like, oh, like, let me just see how the other side lives. And then also, too, like, if it's for work, if you're like, hey, I got to get home, and I got to get here. Like, we, were, we talked to Segura about it when we had him on AYG. And I was like, I was like, are you flying private? He's like, the tour wouldn't be able to work without it. Like, that's right. what people don't understand is, like, I'm doing so many dates the next day, the next day, the next day. Yeah. I need to go. I need to perform, go do whatever, like, meet and greet, whatever, whatever, yeah. grab dinner, hop on the plane, and I, I'm in the next town Or else I can't do the show or there. The, or the shows can, don't can happen. Can you swing it now? Are you starting to talk? Is, is that uh, being discussed? No, it's not being discussed. I, uh, because, no, one, no, can't, can't get there yet. Two, I am one of those people, even the bus stuff, right? The, I don't want to do the amount of dates it takes it to takes even to require the work, bus. Yeah. I just don't. I, so for, you have to if, do like 200 cities if you, a year. Like, like what I just experienced last week, one show in Baltimore, two in Philly, one in Jersey. That's our wheelhouse, that too. That literally, back -back I was like, if I could have those tickets that were sold, the money I made, and the, and, and yes, being away from home, but, so, but drivable, if oh. I could have a life. Where I could literally make my life to my children and have they can have whatever we can have whatever we want. Where I just was in the Northeast, which I probably actually probably could do yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. But 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 I, <laughs> but it's Playing Poughkeepsie three times yeah, a year. But then you're like, but then you know your agent's like, don't you want to go to St. Paul, Minnesota? Uh -huh, I'm yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. guess I do. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> but I, but my vision, my life, like I'm one of those people. Like I want to be home in the New York tri-state area. I want to like, I don't like to like have, unless it's going to be something big, like go to the UK. We went to the UK, England, experience life. But I'm like, I, you know, obviously, yeah, my kids, but I also just like, dude, I like being in New York in fucking October and November. Mm -hmm. I don't want to go. Nice. I don't want to go to, they're like, oh, but what about the weather? I'm like, yeah, I like the deep freeze of New York. I don't want to go fuck it. I don't want to go to Vegas. Yeah. I just don't want to go. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I will if you fuck it, you know, if the if the uh, wind would like to rebook me. <laughs> uh. It is. I, I We're like struggling with the, you know, I, I also don't, I feel like, you know, I talk to Ari a lot about this of like, you, pay, you can paint yourself at a corner when you're like, I'll just do everything all the time. Yeah. And you're like, then like you look up five, six, seven, eight years later and you're like, oh, I've just been working like a fucking lunatic. Sometimes it's- Hey, shut up, you folks. We're coming everywhere. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we are, this but guy's like, crazy. We spread it out a little. It's just like- St. Paul, need, we love you. I don't, I don't need to be- The capital of Minnesota. <laughs> there you go. It's true. Yeah. I just don't want to be like, I need to work 52 weekends a year. That's like, what that's Burr was saying on Tim Dillon's show this what week. What was Burr saying? He was pretty much saying, like, you need to live your life in between gigs or shows to have real material. Otherwise... You got to live a life worth commenting well, on. I've also, always been too, a big it's like, of honestly, like anything else, like anything else in life, oversaturation is never a good thing. So it's like, if I can see you everywhere, mm -hmm. then what's the incentive for me to buy your ticket sure. right now? If I know or, you're coming back, or if you'll be I back could, or whatever. Or if you're posting every day. Why? I, it's like, I feel like, ah, you're played out. I hear you should all. So it's like a little bit, it's a, you know, a bit, you try to be more selective. With that being said, I'm announcing a world tour. Uh, <laughs> it was just on the news and a hot dog. Yeah, yeah and I have. I, <laughs> yeah, talk yeah, about exclusivity. Yeah, I, 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 I locked Venetia in a room and have her post every <laughs> second of every day. <laughs> oh, go live, go live. Yeah, you're, go flying, <laughs> you're flying first class everywhere, right? Even personal life So now, here's right? the thing with me. Here's the thing is, is, is I just now, if I... If it's not, just because travel has become our lives, if it's not first class, I just, for me, it's like, I'd rather not go. I, I, I'd honestly. It sounds cunty, but I agree with you. It's true. I, I just, I, I, and just I, so but that's travel. personal too. If you and you and the missus go somewhere, you're flying first class. If it's me and her, if it's me, her and the kids, then we do economy because I can't have these fucking animals in first class. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Why? Why? That's so much better. <laughs> not these kids, dude. No, no, dude. My daughter, dude, my daughter will get into the cockpit. She'll just. <laughs> <laughs> Hola, como Hola. Estás? Well, no, dude. The, I, I flew, one time I brought my. I, one yeah, time that was adorable. I don't know why. Dude, I bought Deli I brought my daughter Delilah with me uh, to the Atlanta punchline uh, once when I um, when I was still uh, co-parenting uh, because um, I mixed the weekends up and I was like that oh. is a tough green room too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not like a. No, no, it was in the back of a diner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So That's I, what I'm saying. The, the green room is just like, there's not like a big yeah. sprawling place they can run around. You're next to the dishwasher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like New York to Atlanta. So club, it's though. like not that, you know, it wasn't that expensive of a flight. So I was like, oh, whatever. First, I'll buy another first class ticket, you know, I'll sit with my daughter. So like whatever. And she was four at the time. And we literally are in first class seats. We get in and she sits in and she's four. She goes, these seats are small. And I was like, oh, God, man, this is a first class fucking seat. Yeah. So when we went to Puerto Rico, our homeland, I was like, get in the back. <laughs> Dude, I have a cousin who flies private for uh, he works for like a like, you know, this billionaire person. So he flies. It's private. Elon Musk. Yeah. So he flies yeah. private with her and like the kid, his kid as well. It's Tom Segura. <laughs> <laughs> and he uh, so he took his kid on a plane. His kid had only flown private. Like, cause they would go on like vacations and stuff. Yeah. And then he, they were flying first class, like, cause he was paying. He's like, all right, like, you know, we're not flying private clearly. Right. Like I'm just an employee of this person. So he takes his kid on the plane and the, the kid looks at all the other, he's like, why are these people on our plane? Yeah. yeah. Cause he only knew. <laughs> he only knew. I only fly. Like there's, it's just me and my family on an yeah. airplane. Do all these people work here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's going on? This is a good Halloween costume. Somebody dressed up as Brittany uh, Griner. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's you know, pretty You know good. what I Ouch. heard about the Brittany Grinier situation is she literally, somebody said uh, that, that they, knowing the Russian uh, prison system, that they're just going to keep giving her bullshit charges, charges and keep her in prison for like, they'll keep her, as I mean, long she, as this cold war is going she's on. She's a political, that's a political. That's a political, that's, yeah. that sucks. That yeah. sucks, man. The but, guy they want for her, that was pretty fucking dicey. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know, you start to think about it where it's like, you know, I mean, you know. 
I don't know. Do we want to give up a Russian arm still? I mean, the girl did vape. You know what I mean? She did. She, you did break the rules <laughs> yeah. in Russia, man. You know, like. I had the dude. I, you I, did bring in fucking weed. I, mean, what I watch doing? that all the time. I watch it locked up abroad. And it's like, I was just a tourist. And then I started, you know, selling crack in Afghanistan. I'm like, yeah, you, you, you get what yeah, you get. What do you think's going to happen? Dude, what do you want me to tell you, man? Why, first of all, why are you going to Russia? They Second, pay good money. Those like, those, like oh, oligarchs, okay. they have so like this weird fucking competition where they get women to play basketball so then against def- each other. Okay, so then go make the money, I understand. But it's like, if you're in Russia, man, you don't try anything. Why would you? What? I would have one of those babushka hats on. Don't, I'd be doing 100%. I'd be doing this dance. Dude, I would literally, I would be, I would be walking through security in Moscow burning the Ukrainian flag. <laughs> yeah, 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 I would, yeah. that, that's how <laughs> fucking I much know. I'd be on their side. I'd be, dude, I'd be so pro-Russia. But yeah, yeah. she should tell them. Yeah, like, let me out. I'll go and I'll spy. I'll let you know what they're yeah. up to. Exa- yeah, I'll, like, I'll she's seamlessly gonna, fit into she's Ukraine. She's not going to stick out in yeah, Ukraine. Yeah. I'll seamlessly fit into some <laughs> Ukrainian family. As a, no, I meant come back here. As just a person. Oh, yeah, spy for... Just lie. Yo, that happens a lot. Double and then H. Double H. That happens a lot. Like Homeland, that show Homeland, that they didn't pull that out of the fucking thin air. There was yeah. another good one, the Americans or something, that oh, was yeah. really good. Yeah. It was like the, they were Russian sleeper cells. That's something a little good. scary that just popped up in the news is uh, so many ex-military guys are going over and training other uh, other armies. Yeah, oh, did you yeah. see that? Why? Like Why? generals and shit are getting like paid. Like our guys. Yeah, yeah. Ex, like retired are getting paid as consultants to go train armies. Yeah, That's see, Armies dicey. and pilots especially. Yeah, because wow. here's the thing: is like wow. you know, it's like up. you know, like when they had like you know, like when you t- history like That's you know, the as far as I'm concerned, it's, I know, dude. What the fuck? I mean, listen, I'm not saying you know the, that they shouldn't be better compensated. I want everybody to be more compensated. Teachers, nurses, whatever, give them more whatever they want. But going over and fucking showing the Saudis our fucking tactics, you can't do fuck it. Fuck out of here with yeah, that. Yeah, I know. It's I know. It's uh, the money. It corrupts a little bit. But I mean, dude, that's the thing with people like money. <laughs> money bit. doesn't I money. Love uh, love <laughs> Then they're like, then they're like, money, money doesn't uh, buy happiness. I'm like, well, it kind of does actually. It or it, it comes it really, pretty fucking it close. Really, it really fucking rounds the edges on it life. Makes I'll things give you better. That. I'll t- yeah, it makes things. It probably makes things a lot better. Yeah. What the thing is too, it's like you know. Yeah, I said anybody this, but who you says think that's like, never been poor. Yeah, it's like how, how much money do you? But also, it's like how much money do you need? Solve all the problems, yeah. but like, I used to like two two years ago. I wasn't like I had a borrow 20 bucks off my buddy to take the subway and now I'm like traveling first class I'm like it's definitely my life is substantially yeah. better now yeah, than it was time, two the years time ago. I was on an airplane before we started doing this oh, tour this is the saddest was, shit was, in the world I was I got I got into the laughing skull comedy festival in Atlanta yeah. I flew back to LaGuardia I lived in Queens I he, had to walk home first of all he didn't have an ID he got on with like a social oh, yeah. security card and a credit card how did you get on wow. with the, just a credit card and a social security oh, how was, you doing I know <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> Yeah, no, I think I did. Well, my way in It anything. was like a credit card, a social security card, and like a, a health care card or yeah. something like that. And they let them on. And yeah, you got it. Go. And then you had to walk home from LaGuardia. Because I didn't have any. Well, first of all, I couldn't get my license because I didn't have money to get it renewed. And fucking, I couldn't afford the bus to fucking from uh, LaGuardia to my apartment. So I walked. Did he walked like on the on the highway ramp. He didn't even oh, take local I streets. I was walking down the Grand Central. <laughs> <laughs> with, with a fucking pulling a, pulling a drag bag with him. <laughs> what time of day was it? It was in the middle of the afternoon. It took me three hours to get home. Oh, my God. Got your steps in that day, though. <laughs> yeah, I did. Never That's walked good. again. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yo, go to um. Uh, by the way, that should have been. A, we have a new segment. Go to our new segment. We had a, that that segment would have been perfect for this, but we have a new segment called "Oh Bendito." So this is a segment that we're going to be debuting here each week about somebody who just had a, a you know just ah. Uh, what can you do? You know, all oh, Bendito in the Puerto Ricans, as you know, is like, oh, that's cute. But, you know, he's a little, you know, he doesn't even know what he's saying mm-hmm. kind of thing. So that, you know, Foley's would have been a nice all oh, Bendito. But this is from, Fe- uh, what's his name? Is it Kevin Fetterman? John Fetterman. Kevin Fetterline. Kevin Fetterline. John Fetterman. Um, debated- I remember this dude from back in the day. Yeah, he debated Dr. Oz last week. And Fetterman just had a stroke. And he just sounded like me if I was debating. Like he uh, had he no little, idea what he was, he was saying. Half, uh- he, he doesn't know what he's talking. He, like he, now, they say the debates don't make a real big difference in voting, um, but this debate... Something was, like that does. It was so bad where yeah. you start to have to say if you live in Pennsylvania, like... Also, Pennsylvania consistently flip-flops back and forth between Republican and Democrat. Shout yeah. out to my parents. Yeah, so... <laughs> <laughs> what, are the, what, are they go, what have they been going recently? Uh, we're, we're a heavy red family, and we have been for quite some time. Heavy red. Yeah. Dude, it's red's fun. 
So is blue, though. Whatever you guys want to do. But what was the real problem? He was just stuttering. No, what the real problem with Fetterman, if you watch this debate, is, you know, again, he had a stroke a few months ago. He was, yes, he was stuttering. And then they would, like, he would ha- take these long pauses and they would ask him about, like, fracking. It's like a big issue. They were, like, fracking. And they'd be like, you know, what do you have to say about you not, uh, you not supporting fracking, you know, six years ago and now you do? And he was like, I've fracking, I love uh, fracking, fracking. Uh- uh, and like fuck. shit like that, and yeah, he's and still then, healing. And then, uh, but then, Doctor Oz would be like, you know, as a licensed physician, I can tell you that he's still suffering symptoms from a stroke. You do not want to have this guy running your state. Ooh. So vote for me. So it was kind of but like, like Doctor Oz is a batshit crazy person as well. <laughs> yes, yes, he's like filming himself in like produce sections, being like, carrots are crazy. You're like, dude, fucking, yeah, 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 yeah. Go back to Oprah. Everybody disconnected. Yeah, with that he's guy, like, right? carrots are the real ISIS. Yeah, he gets real <laughs> fucking wonky in supermarkets dude, for some yeah, reason. He, um, it, so. <laughs> You're not that guy, pal. Root vegetables are going to ruin this country. Yeah. Dude, I mean, it literally, it's so, I don't know. But, but yeah, this, it feels like, I mean, they said, well, we saw coming in, uh, coming over here from the from the city today, the whole FDR, you know, big, big uh, highway in Manhattan was shut down because we saw Joe Biden's limo. I saw it last together. night. So, so that's who we're moving out. Heavy bike, all black, yeah. all black Escalade. Yeah, pa- around all the sirens, everything. All yeah, yeah. shut down, because, but he's here because they're saying, oh, it's this or that. But it's like, dude, the, 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 this is the first time in a while, like some of these traditionally blue places in New York. Yeah, I know Pennsylvania, flip flops, but Philly, all that. Yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah. all... Like they're gonna have to, they have to bring in like the president and Obama and, and to be like, hey, can you guys vote? It's yeah. the crime, man. Everything else is second. That's to the crime. see that that and that's the thing. When I was watching the the debate last week with in New York with Governor Hochul and uh, Lee Zeldin is the Republican guy, you know Zeldin and whoever you vote for, whatever. But it's like. Zeldin kept talking about crime, and then Hochul, Governor Hochul, was like, "This this guy's like obsessed with crime." Like, it's like yeah, and man, it's like, it's- yeah, what, what what do you? Nobody cares. You can't get an abortion if you're dead. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah. can't, you can't fucking. Nobody cares Dude, about these issues. The first the thing is safety. Yeah. Safety one, then abortion. But I don't safety like, is one. I don't like getting political at all, at all. Whatever you know, whatever people want to do, people do. I'm a fucking idiot. But that broad looks like a fucking evil princess. Oh, ho, <laughs> like, lady. I don't even know. Pull which the fucking. Pull of her? the eyebrows down two tree feet. She looks you? like the fucking rat tails combined and created the governor of New York. And then you say something like that, and the way you look, of yeah, course, she's like, "Why do you obsess with crime?" It's like. Are, are they paying you uh, to have she anarchy? Looks, yikes. She looks like they cast her to be bad. Yeah, she doesn't yeah. look... She oh, should man. have crab cake in the corner of her mouth and lipstick on her iced tea at the country club. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Paid Come almost 300 on. grand to taxes. Make it some bucks. That's all you garbage money, 300 grand in there taxes. There you go. <laughs> man. What are you guys going to do this year for you? You're going to have like a real money that, like for your first I, tax bill. Do you know no, how much? Have, do you guys understand a, what's no, going to yeah. happen this year? Account. We have, okay. We yeah, have, but now you're even you're twice up. as big as last year now. Yeah. Dude, yeah. It's, it's you sure you want to f- keep flying first class? Well, it's also dude. This tax bill is going to be nuts. Well, you, I gotta He's going to be walking on the grand central again. We got to spend the money in the company, so I don't have to fuck it. So we don't. So we don't have to pay it at the end of the year. Yeah, dude. And we're saving. We're saving it. Good, you know what? Yeah, Good. we're not fuck, screwing. Fuck around. Shane. He's like he's he, he's forgetting about taxes. He bought the better tickets, but watch, watch. Yeah, he's, he's making. Getting, I think he's doing. He's all right. fucked on taxes. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think well, he's living in the funny. I talked. I had a call with the accountant, like a couple of whatever, to like check in. Shout out to you Altman. Got, oh, bro, right? that's my guy. Yeah, Shout yeah, out yeah, Russell yeah, Altman. Yeah. Um, I love it. Good dude. Uh, I thought it was Harvey. That's Harvey's his dad. his dad. Ooh. Yeah. Where was Russell? Are Russ. you with Harvey? No. no. Oh. Yeah, right. Dude, he doesn't even have Russ. <laughs> he's, he's, oh he's, 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 he's turbo. He's got turbo. <laughs> I, got, I got the junior man on the account. Yeah. 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 We don't even have Russell. That's hilarious. <laughs> you got one of Russell's kids <laughs> yeah. who's doing it like as an internship. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, man? Yeah. Um, she's like, I think there's, you know, there's like so many. She's like, you spent $80,000 at Burger King? That's not right. Is it $8,000? you are like, nah. No, it's actually $800,000. I fucked up. Um, he, uh, fuck, what was I saying? Oh, we had a call, and, like, you're like, it just, I was like, fuck, all right, man, well, like, I guess we gotta make more money. Like, oh, that just means we gotta pay more taxes. I'm like, this is fucking crazy. No, 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 the first time, because cause the way it works in the comedy and, and all entertainment is you don't get taxed up front. You get the 1099, you get taxed at the end of Are the year. Are you paying quarterly? Or pay it quarterly. I pay quarterly now, just because the first time when I have hey, to pay at the job. end. And it's not even like, it's like a normal salary, like, oh, everyday, you know, cop salary. But when you, but even like a cop or these people, like they, they pay taxes every paycheck. So they don't, when you get a bill say, at the end of the year. Say you made $100,000 and at the end of the year. You get a bill, you get a tax check for, for like, like 30, 50, yeah, 30 so or $40,000. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're like, wait, no, no, no. they're like, oh, this is due next week. No, you're, and like, you're like, no, I, I paid that. I had to have paid that. Yeah. They're like, no. 
You well, it get- also comes we were you know we're all very financially illiterate. Mm. At the same time, we're not known for our, you know, understanding of tax law and high finance. But that's on purpose. We're slipping through the crack, though. We did good last year where we where we were ready for it a little bit. And now this year we're fucking being we're making sure that we really fucking have it ready to go. Yeah, you guys are buttoned up. As buttoned they say. Up. Well, it's also like it, it, it looks from the outside and you're like, oh, we're making so much money. And it's like, all right, well, like a lot of that goes to production and equipment and track. I mean, we're like, you know, right we, back yeah, into the business, we take five baby. guys yeah, yeah. on the road. Like, yeah, that's so how we travel. Just like Mr. Beast. Yeah, exactly. Putting dude. it right back in. Dude, you put it. Yeah, you guys are. You guys Couple are my nice Mr. Beast. dinners. <laughs> Uh, maybe maybe a delta one if, it, if we're looking for the points, but other than that, right back in the business. Yeah, no, dude, that's the thing. It's like people, and then percentages, manager gets percentage, uh, dude, agents, all agents, and then at all the that. end of it, you're like, uh, like visibly that number. Like you look at our Patreon, you're like, oh, it's like visible, and you're like, oh, that's fucking crazy. It's like, all right, well, it wasn't that six months ago, so yeah. it's not like people are like that's so much money a year. You're like, well, okay, starting now maybe for the next twelve months, but like yeah, I was yeah. already kind of behind the eight ball. Yeah. For so long. No, people don't. You know, people- it took me a year to get like clean out of like, oh, I owe this company or this person or this whatever. Like, clean up any credit card debt to clean up like fucking. Finally, my rents on auto pay, and I feel you know I feel like a fucking Rockefeller. I had Capital hey. One. I had Capital One looking for me. Yeah. Ooh, got to clean that up real quick. Clean it up. <laughs> Call Jennifer Garner. All right, here we go. You know the way to get involved at patreon.com slash Christy Comedy. You can ask me questions, the fans questions, this, uh, the guest questions. This is how the fans get involved, so thanks for the support. This is from Joey Pimonti. Is it garbage to have your transgender almost uncle-in-law be your living nanny and babysitter while also being a model for your merch and best guest on your podcast and Patreon content? I'll take this one. Go ahead. And I've said this to you. Of course not. And I think it's so fucking, and I'm not kissing your ass. I think it's so beautiful. I think the family is so awesome. And I think it's the fucking cutest thing ever. There you go. It's right the from, cutest thing ever. Look I at that. I got the family involved. <laughs> I got, I got, the, <laughs> throw, throw them out. Yeah, I got the family involved and I'm absolutely making money off their backs. Yeah, no, <laughs> I love um, it. And they won't see it. Um, <laughs> 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 Private jet no, and a tour bus. No, 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 I know. <laughs> I know, I know people will always shit on me. And no, I think it's like, so- I get you, T.T. Jerry. It's like, shut your fucking mouth. T.T. Jerry would be back on crack. T.T. Jerry wasn't famous. on the show. T.T. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry has an Instagram They're following. like, you don't even, you know, people, that's the thing with people. See, here's, here's a good, good, I mean, not, not that you need advice for me, but a good thing too, as, as you keep getting bigger and bigger and, and, and whatever, is like, just do, make a deal that you won't ever let anyone who you don't know's opinion influence you at all. Because these people that make comments that. on YouTube and it, they're fucking retards. Yeah. And it's just like, they don't know anything about your life. And they'll be like, you don't do this. You don't do that. And meanwhile, like, you know, if you, if you knew what I did for my family, you'd sure. be like, oh my God. It's adorable. If, yeah. If you don't want to answer, you don't have to. We can talk about it off air. But What'd you make last year? Nothing's off air. <laughs> <laughs> do it. That, that's your, that's your wife's. Uncle. Uncle. Yeah. And how did it how did it come to for you guys to take take her in after after she got out? Well, you know, Jerry was just like, you know, like when when she got out of prison, you know, like you need the the, the number one reason people go back to jail is because they, they, they there's no work. Like nobody's going to hire a convict or they they say they will but they don't or they give them some bullshit the job. The then they're working with other convicts yeah, 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 and yeah. you start to get in trouble. Well, I was like it's not going to happen. I'm going to employ like legally employ Jerry. It's great. In men like you know, my kid's nanny, he works for the house on the show. Like Whatever. he's a yeah, yeah, full yeah. public employee. Mm-hmm. He's a full employee of my company. Sure. You know what and I mean? You had never met her before that. No. I well, I heard about her. I talked to her on the phone and stuff, you know, because I was with Jasmine for, by the time Jerry got out, I was already with Jasmine for like six years. So I had heard about the legend of Jerry a lot. And we had spoke, uh, like I said, spoken on the phone. He watched the podcast in jail and stuff. <laughs> but then when she got out, yeah, I mean, picked her up. That, that, I gave her a Denver Comedy Works sweatshirt and sweatpants so she could leave prison. That's she left prison Jesus. in a Denver Comedy Works sweatshirt. That's so awesome. that's the way great I promoted club, that club. So yeah, great, as her walking they, out they of have fan, They have fantastically comfortable merch. Yes. But that is the fucking sweetest thing ever. Yeah. She's fucking an angel and you're an angel. That's it, baby. Speaking of angels, Darren Wilkes, is it garbage to support your friends only fan, your, your wife's, wife's friends fans. only fans page? Is that garbage? I, I just know, recently, I'll take a link. <laughs> yeah. I just recently dabbled in OnlyFans for the first time. What do we think? Not a fan. Interesting. It's like I joined for like five ninety nine a month, and I'm like, you just see like a picture, and then right. like, 
And then I, they like DM me. It's like, hey, for 80 bucks, you can see this. I'm like, what are we doing no, here? I, don't need I got busted it's signing free. up for fee hands. Yeah. <laughs> on air, dude. Yo, she called him out on air. And and she she's like, you pandemic. joined last night. And yeah, yeah. Like, oh, it was another guy. I swear. Yeah, yeah. You tried to make up a fake name. It was Foley H. <laughs> yeah. Philly Foley. <laughs> I didn't realize you had to change the screen name. I, yeah. thought, I thought that was between me and OnlyFans. Uh, I assumed this was anonymous. I heard the OnlyFans, it's, st- cold. it's starting to like teeter out though. Like it's starting to be like, because I think it's just like anything else, oversaturation, every, it's too well, many Well, similar counts. to Patreon. It's like, there's going to be like big ones, you know what I mean? And then like the bulk of the people probably aren't going to get as much traction yeah. as I think what it really is, is a bulk of the people are that, that started to do it when, okay, so a small group of people started doing it and they were really giving it away. You know right. what I mean? They were really fucking giving you the goods. Right. And then, oh, I'm going to do it because everyone else is doing it. And you get like a fucking half Instagram picture. Yeah, it's yeah. like, it's like, it's you like gotta, just like gotta, an R-rated show Instagram. some butthole. What are we doing? Yeah. Exactly. I'll show some butthole. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not a fan of the b-hole, but so I get agree. Get that in a clip. <laughs> <laughs> Edit it out of context. Just, you got to show some butthole and then, and then freeze frame and on his face. I mean, you got to go for it. crime in the city. You got to go for it. Right? That's why people are starting to pull away. Way. I'm not signing up for fucking shit I can see on Twitter. Yeah, dude. Yeah. All right. I, also, I forget gritty. that there's actual porn on Twitter, and then like mm-hmm. sometimes somebody will retweet something. It's just like a full penetration. Yeah. And you're like, all right, yeah, holy this shit. Is hot. Yeah. All right, this is from Alex Tanello. Is it garbage to Shout marry? Out to Tanello, I love Tanello. Whoa. Shout out Tanello. Is Funny. it gar- is it garbage to marry your high school sweetheart's twin he sister? He did do that. So he married his actual high school. He was his ex girlfriend's twin sister. Dude, I mean, close enough. I, right? Yeah, right? If you're not going to get the actual one, get the twin. Mm-hmm. Now, now, did no, I, get I think he broke up with her. I think he like started. He like, broke up with her and started dating his. He twin. says his joke is he keeps he keeps looking at the brother, being like, "You're next." <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I think they all get along or whatever. I, f- I forget. He told us the story. He's a he's a good dude. Is Alex. he a comic, Tanella? No, no, no. He's just like a fucking Super diehard fan. fan. Yeah, yeah, dude, he, I love Santino. Had him introduce some when he played like the Beacon or whatever. See, yeah, that's Tanella's what it's good of. And shout out to all the fans who the all the crossover best. fans the best. who go so from cool. Are You Garbage to my Patreon to Santino to uh, Tim. It's like that is the best. It's like we all share the same. They're fucking that's awesome. the biggest thing that like I've realized that like the coolest thing is like I've said this a bunch but like guys like you santino sal fucking everybody yeah. burr schultz yeah, 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 shout yeah. out to king schultz everybody's so fucking cool and it's just like the people who don't need to be cool are cool right like you yeah. guys should you get uh, you're not doing the show i'm not doing your show fucking whatever like you don't you never you didn't need to do our show to begin with right. but you're like oh i'll come do it and you did it and we right. you know we became cool and whatever and it's like that's the thing that I'm like, this is the coolest shit, is that Dude. everybody's just fucking, it's a yeah. nice little circle. Be, because I think that it's like, you know, at, at the, the anybody, my dad always told me, uh, 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 you know, a thing that I always remember, you know, his thing was always watch out for wannabes. That was always his like advice in life. He's like, watch out for wannabes. And I feel like people who aren't comfortable, who are like, are at a certain point in their career and don't have what they want are like, but try to come off like they're big, they're wannabe, so they get mad. They're like, but but, but when you start to just be like, yeah, dude, I mean, who cares? It doesn't matter how big all of us get. We Mm -hmm. could be the the next Kevin Hart's. We die and then are forgotten. Yeah, yeah, So just while you're on this planet, just enjoy it. Just enjoy what you have because it's like no, genuinely nobody cares about anything we're doing really. Mm-hmm. I also think that everybody that he met, everyone's secure in what they do and know that they're that they're right. actually well, funny and yeah. There's no there's, to, there's no Toby fear of like it. I'm trying to appear to be this thing because I remember talking to Schultz at one point like someone didn't share something the project we had done before and he's like oh how's that going I'm like you know you were the only one that shared it and he was like yeah it's because I don't have fear that that's. They're still like everybody else thinks that they're yeah. going to be affected or viewed differently by sharing something from yeah. somebody's beneath them. He goes, "No, I I don't care. Like it, it, I like you guys, and I'm confident dude, in who I am, and I he, know it's not going to visibly affect me." I've always felt this, and this is just applying to comedy, but this, you could apply this to anything in your life. When somebody's like, "You stole my joke," I've always been like, "If you stole any of my jokes, I'll just write another joke." Yeah, yeah like yeah, yeah. It, whatever you took that. If you took a thing that defined me, then they would know that you stole it anyway. Sure. So whatever thing you are, are accusing me or you of stealing, when, it, when comics do that, it's like, you, it was bullshit to begin with. That's why. Yeah. Okay? Like, it wasn't that good of you a fucking have, you bit. You didn't have the most unique take on the fucking subway. No, whatever, dude. You, know you know didn't I mean? steal a, a, a bit from a legend like Burr or CK because they're, it, like, you, you yeah. stole a bullshit thing. So, but you know what? We were talking about this before in the car. The ability, people, so many people, it's wild 
have an ability, have this, have this disability to not be introspective and not just mm-hmm. look in the mirror and be like, oh, it's nobody else's fault but my own. Everybody so blames everybody. Of where course. It's like, all I do is guy, blame myself. Guy, yeah, yeah. Fucking like look in the mirror and call myself a piece and of look shit. At how fucking, <laughs> and look at it. And look at how healthy he is. <laughs> well, people say, they'll be like, yo, you're shit. Like, you know, we were talking about comments. You'll see like negative comments or whatever. And I want to be like, you think... I haven't said worse shit to myself. You fuck, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's like, get out of here with that. And yeah. also Schultz also gave us another good piece of advice. Cause like now that like, we started like doing well, everybody has advice for you. You know what I mean? Sure, of course. And, like, but it's also like people that are like beneath you. Yeah. Not, I don't want to say that, but like, you know what I mean? I get it. And it's like, not beneath, yeah, not beneath you, but like maybe yeah. haven't accomplished or like have, I get it. Or yeah, whatever's yeah. big. I didn't want to come off as Just country. spit it out. Well, you're killing us. But, uh, <laughs> He was Pim, like, "Don't listen to anybody that doesn't. Have, <laughs> don't listen to anybody that uh, doesn't have what you have." Right. He's like, "Because people will be like, oh, you guys should do it this way,' and it's like, no. What, like, Anytime what are you I about? give you advice, really, what I'm doing is just subconsciously being. Uh, what I'm really saying is, be more like me. Sure, of course. That's all yeah, I'm yeah, actually yeah, yeah. saying to that's advice. And that's not bad advice, baby. Yeah. Hey, hey, there he is. Fucking, you want another the, Fillmore, dude? Yeah. Who wants four Puerto Rican kids? Deal. <laughs> hey, that's it. All right, where can where are you guys going to be next? Uh, we're all over the road. There's, uh, I mean, shout out to everybody. Uh, we added a second show in Providence, Rhode Island. That's about to go. Uh, Comedy Connection. Comedy, Comedy Connection. Connect. Wait, Wait, Boston. There's a few tickets left to the second show on when that, is that as well. When is, when is that run? Connecticut, uh, Boston. December, like, 15th and 16th or oh, something like that. Great time to be That's in Boston. The 7th and 8th, maybe, yeah. or something like that. Uh, it's going to be fun. Philly sold out. There. We're going to be Atlanta uh, in two weeks. Charlotte. Uh, tickets are going for that. Yeah. We don't have a website. We're well, working we got on one that. coming. Websites on the way, cuz. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, man, thank you guys to the Are You Garbage guys. Pippi, anything, any questions? I, I want to know, Thanksgiving's coming up. Is it trash to buy your meal from a restaurant or a Boston market? Yeah, of course, dude. Come if on. you're one of those loveless families that goes out to dinner on Thanksgiving, oh, Jesus, Listen, you don't, you don't have a friend's if, house you can go to or something? If you're That's in a crazy. pinch, if you're in a pinch, you do what you got to do. Sure. Oh, I I got one too, a garbage thing, and we have I I have the video of this, um, too. If if you want to see it, my when we were in London. I want to know if this is this is this, is this garbage or is this hot? Get out. My uh, girl Jazz, she um, w- uh, didn't have um, her hair was down and she need, wanted to put it up and she didn't have a hair tie, so she went into the bathroom, took off her panties, and used them as a hair tie. Hot or garbage? No comment. <laughs> Moy caliente. Yeah, what are you talking about? Yeah, dude, she used, fucking she used awesome. the panties she was wearing as a hair tie. And she was wearing? She, oh she posted my God. on Instagram. Yeah. Or did, or did she? Did you see it? She posted it. Yeah. What did yeah. you think? Uh, he uh, came. What are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's another kid on the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think if Jazz does it, that's extremely hot. If I do it, it's disgusting. <laughs> How about the dude? smell alone. Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, yeah that's, that's that's pretty sexy. That's, that's a sexy move. All right, good. All right, there the boy. That's the boy schedule. The garbage get nice. Fucking third tier, uh, uh, third seller market. Nice. I like that. You can only get these on StubHub. You pieces of shit. Oh yeah, because we're sold. A lot of the shows sold, are out, sold out, baby. Out, yeah, Wait, we're on StubHub. Look at that. Well, people buy them and then try to sell them. Hundred and twenty-one bucks to see in Charlotte. Holy shit. Two fifty-three to see us in Laugh what Boston. What the fuck? I, I didn't know this. Beast yes. on that. This is goddamn just... a grue. We went in our beat third on this. party market. No, you can't stop it, dude. This is what they do. You can't Damn. stop it. Holy People will get mad shit. at me sometimes. Like, your tickets are outrageous. I'm like, they're $45. I know. They're just sold out, you dummy. Now that you got to buy them three times the price. Stop, Hub. What Stop the Hub. Fuck? Yeah, look at what, what is what this? What are they going for in Philly? Because that's a hot ticket. This is we, ticket we smarter. We can sell out another show in Philly probably, but we just can't. No. Oh, you can't even get them and fuck it. You can't even get them in Philly. Six bucks. <laughs> yeah. Half a sandwich. Yeah. Wow. You get yeah. a hoogie. That's nuts. 253 and laugh Boston. That's not coming to us, gang. Believe me. Yeah. yeah. Hey, we would never do something like if that. If it was, I wouldn't be here. It's worth it, though. Listen to me, fellas. Go take your panties out, put your hair up, and go see the boys. <laughs> Have a good day.